So if you're trying to improve your house and you don't know how to do it, you have to watch this right now. I'm here with two experts in the industry that come from the place where you get the most feedback. When you're selling and buying properties, you get all the good and all the bad. And also hearing from an architect, right? How many times did you get to hear from the architect about what you should do? So let's start with you guys. So tell me a little bit about you, what, what you do, and let's go, take it right on. I'm Giselle, Giselle Paizetovic, and this is my husband, Sledge. I started in the business in 2019. I've been involved with construction throughout my life, so it's something I enjoy. Um, and working with buyers and sellers on a daily basis just adds so much to our business because the biggest thing when you're doing real estate, it, to, it is to understand what your clients really need. It's not exactly about what you think it's best for them, but understanding what's going to make their life, that they life better and bring the best return of their investment. Excellent. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about you. I am Sladic Pajzetovic with the Pajzetovic Group. I uh, moved to the U.S. in 1996 and uh, my father was a mason uh, and he did masonry work back in Bosnia. Wow. So uh, I've kind of always been around construction. When I was two years old, uh, our father actually built our house. So he did everything from foundation all the way up to the roof. Um, so I've always kind of been around construction and, and I kind of, I guess I kind of got that love for, for real estate and, and construction from him. Yeah, so why are you seeing nowadays, you know, on your showings that buyers are really looking for? What things can somebody do to improve their home, to improve their, their properties, um, or even when they're designing a whole new project? Like what things you see that you always say, wow, people say, I wish I had this, or I wish I did this, right? So, uh, you know. Open spaces, a lot of open concept, kind of like where we are today. Um, and any updates to a kitchen, a kitchen, any update to a kitchen will bring in add value. Yes, yeah. always, always. It's the heart of the house and that's where family gather for meals. So kitchen is a huge selling point. So yeah. any improvements to your kitchen is going to reflect on the price so of your property. So things like islands, oh, yeah. right, Absolutely. with pendant lights, right, mm -hmm. um, clean cabinets, right, yes. self-closing cabinets. Self-closing is a big thing lately. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. having that in there. Mm -hmm. What appliances are people asking for? Gas right? stove. People gas stove? Yeah. love gas stove. The ones that really enjoy, enjoy cooking, they always say uh, it makes a huge difference. So if you have the option, I always go with gas stove. So taking note, everybody, gas stoves are the preferred ones for those that cook, that love yeah. cooking and enjoy Top cooking. selling. Yeah. Top selling. So, and the islands are being something that they require a lot, right? Yes. Like having the waterfall idea, yes. as many people as possible. It right? brings extra seating, which means that is more fun, more gatherings happening while you're cooking and you can have the whole family around. And even when we have gathering in our house, everybody's always in the kitchen. So. That's right. The so, island is a focal point. It's a main point. Everybody mm. would like to be around it. So everybody taking note, right? Yeah. The island is a focal point, having gas stove, yes. right? So tell me one thing that you've heard a lot that you first didn't think was important, but it's important. I'm making you think right now. Um, I, I already have one, uh, a bathtub. <gasps> yes. Yeah, we, we would You'd think- You'd be surprised. Yeah, we would think that showers would be, you know, let's add showers to every bathroom, but a lot of feedback that we receive is, oh, there's no bathtub here. Bathtub. One, it's for kids. And two, if mom and dad need to relax and go to a bubble bath. So, so we're talking stuff. about not the regular, just the bathtub, you know, I don't know, a five by eight one. Mm -hmm. oh, it's the soaking tub idea, soaking right? Tub. Like more of a luxury item, right? Yes. And since when do you notice that? Because I'm trying to see also. Ever. Oh, Ever. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. there is two side of things, as he said, if you have little ones, it's a fun place you make bath time fun, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. And as a parent, as a grown up, it's time to relax. It's your little corner, it's your privacy, it's your bathroom, and you can soak in and relax. Hmm. So that's another, I've seen clients walk away from property because there is no bathtub. Wow, and yes. this is just simple improvement and somebody can make their at home. Yeah. Because it doesn't really cost that much right. to do no. that. You already probably have the plumbing for it. Right. So, you know, from a technical standpoint, we architects know where the ventilation goes and where the pipes go. So it's something simple that will bring you that value, right? You're saying that people walk away from a property do because they didn't have a bathtub. bathtub. No bathtub. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah. Which could have been a contingency within the sale if mm -hmm. the seller Correct. was understanding and could do that improvement, which could be done in less than a week. Well, you yes. Know? Order it, get it, that's it. You know, you can even add it to the price. Listen, it's going to be X more, but I'll get it for yeah. you. Right. And that will make things work. So it's, bathtub. Yeah. So, yes, so being able to relax and have that gas stove is yes. really yeah. critical. So, I mean, we got a shower, but showers are not longer and bath are no longer a necessity. They're also an experience, mm -hmm. yes. right? Getting out of work, relaxing. Long day, long week, how you need is your quiet spa, I and, would and say. Staying with this bathroom theme, we see a lot of people that love to see updated bathrooms. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nothing outdated, tastefully done tiles and colors. They, they don't want to see, you know, a fully, fully pink bathroom or like we used to have 70s, 80s. Mm -hmm. Now um, we're looking for more relaxing light colors. Relaxing light colors updated bathrooms so this feedback we're giving right now is not just for people that are trying to improve their homes as homeowners but also developers too because developers may not know what to do and we have to say goodbye to the grandma style looking tiles okay. right good. we have to say goodbye good. to those old uh, old rugs right with that with that smell you know as much as they make us remember home Mm -hmm. Right, because we remember how we grew up, yeah. but they don't really represent the new generations that no. we see, right? My mm -hmm. suggestion, especially for developers or homeowners thinking of improvements to see the value that it's going to bring to their house, give us a call. We can give you ideas of how much you're going to get depending on which improvement you do and what's going to make your house more sellable. Yeah. Because we know what buyers need, what they're looking for, and we can help you run the numbers so you can make exactly. a final decision. So you will be very good to guide them in the right direction. And hopefully that direction is talk to Flow Design Architects. Yes, too. of course. Right. So um, and then get an architect on board because mm -hmm. some people don't know the value of having an architect. Right. Yes. You see it here right now in this place where we are. This property is super amazing. Yeah. Nothing like it. You will never see anything like it. Right. Mm -hmm. So. Um, but other people don't know the value of those things. So yeah. making sure you improve that bathroom, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Nothing outdated in within the bathroom. Mm -hmm. What about those wall panelings that people like? Those older, you know, cedar looking panels. You guys say goodbye to those too? Most of them, some houses, the new one are using accent walls. Yes. So not on the entire house, like wallpaper in the whole house or paneling the entire house. But sometimes one accent wall can bring life to this space. Yeah, so yeah. I've seen a lot of those wooden slats yes. that go where the TV and fireplace area yes. go. Behind they may go behind the, the beds, beds yes. right? So things like that. Yes, so correct. that's actually what's hot right now. And, you know, we've seen it too. Um, and one thing that I as an architect have been using too is, um, you mentioned open space. So right now we are trying to, we're mitigating the issue of the open space too. The issue right. is that I don't want to be a part of that conversation there, right? So I'm here right now and people are watching a movie or watching TV. I don't want to be a part of that. And what we've been doing is using wooden slats as filters between one space and the other. Mm -hmm. And it makes that transition space, but it also adds texture and warmth to the space. Mm -hmm. If you let the wood be the wood, and the light hits it in a very interesting yeah. way. So you still hear people, but you no longer see them. Mm -hmm. And if you can't see them, the ears and the eyes are connected together. You can not distinguish what it really is that they're talking yes. about. So we're doing a lot more of that with the open concepts in double height spaces so that we can get that filter, that sense of warmth and that separation from one space to the other. Another reason you need the architect to kind of help you bring that to life. Yeah, exactly. Whereas if you're a developer, you may not be able to come up with that idea or that vision and execute it. So. Yeah, and every case is different, right? Every project is different. Every, you know, not all projects have the views that we have and the high limitations or, you know, that some right. other spaces have. Right. So improving their homes. What about like, what textures have you seen more? Like, are people going for black and white? Are people going for certain wood tones? What do you see that you're getting feedback? Again, I, I, I draw everything, right? We design it. Mm -hmm. But we don't know what ends up really happening at the end of the day. We don't know what the feedback is, right? The feedback loop is very limited to the particular owner, if it's a development, um, the developer, but we don't know who the end user is. Like in this case, you already know the owners of this property. You got all the feedback you could probably yes. ever ask for. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about all those other things. What's trending on that end? Well, black and white is still very in season, I would say. And now a lot of mixture with gold too. Not 100% gold or 100% black, but a mixture 
of both. It brings a lot of warmth to the space mm -hmm. and light colors, as is let it said for the walls, is a huge plus. And people are adding colors on all the details, like curtains, pillowcases, mm -hmm. and rugs to make bring warmth to the space. But at the same time, don't have like we used to have, and it was the nicest thing, like a red dining room. Mm -hmm. Those are not in season anymore. It's more light colors and touch of colors in little details and finish. Window curtains, pillows, mm -hmm. couches. So they people want to have the popping colors. Kind of yeah, and which is something that has to do with the taste of how they interior design the space. Yes. Because for instance, on this one, we architecturally interior design the space, but then really put the decorating touches. The final touch. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because that's for the homeowner. Whoever the homeowner is. And Make it personal that. because that varies a lot from owner to owner. How you like the, your favorite mm -hmm. color. There is the colors that are in season, but it's your home. So yeah. you want to make, it, it all depends too. If you're going through all that for a house that you just bought it, or if you're doing change for, in a house that you're willing to sell. Because if you're doing it for yourself and you see yourself on the property for on a longer term, you're going to do mostly of your taste. If you're doing something for selling, you're going to think what's trending the most and can be appealing to mm -hmm. a bigger range of Clients, yeah. but light colors definitely. Uh, even the floors are getting lighter. We yeah. had the times that we had the. I actually dark. put dark colors in my house. Or <laughs> well, you had light yeah. colors. Yeah, no, but uh, yeah. you can always mix it, you know. But mm. it all depends on the taste. It all depends mm. on the taste. But if you think doing all those improvements, looking to sell, you need to try to think about what can be appealing to a right. A uh, range of more people would mm -hmm. say. So, what about this battle between traditional and modern? What, yeah. what do you guys see on the buyer end? Are buyers still on the traditional because we're in New England, or are people looking for a new kind of architecture that's more modern, or do they want the middle of the two? Right? What are you thinking? I would say we're leaning towards the modern more often. Absolutely. Way more towards the so modern. So, the majority of the buyers you show yes. to, they love the modern. They love the modern. Even just the feedback here, they. Love love that wow factor they love um the entertainment spaces and they just love that modern feel yeah, yeah. sleek clean clean, clean lines yeah, like minimal clean colors minimal that's what has been more appealing of course there is different type of buyers that are people looking for farms even the farm style homes yeah a yeah. modern farm style yeah they use now the corrugated metal panel exactly. dark windows yes. Yes. it's a farm yes. style home but still has i would say yeah. kind of in the middle as you said yeah, it's are... mixing the two but people are honestly toward uh the modern toward style modern. Mm -hmm. yeah now also people are smarter about what they want when it comes to energy efficiency and how to spend their money yes. so one point that we mentioned before was also how like now massachusetts is improving applying laws like right? the 2021 energy code now requires everything to be heat pump system yeah. which is electric um so you guys are seeing that that would probably like if you know if my mom wants to upgrade their the house is either what is is either so let's say we have to choose. Well, we have the kitchen, we have the bathroom, we have the, the HVAC system. Which one out of those do they have to choose for, right? Mm -hmm. Which one will give right. them the most bang for the buck? Mm -hmm. So they may not be able to do all of those three things, but right. you know, what do you guys think about that? Like, because improving a bathroom will probably cause as, as much as doing an HVAC system. Mm -hmm. yeah. So which one would you pick out of the three? Huh, that's a tough question. <laughs> I'll say it really depends how your bathroom is today or how your kitchen is today because if it's in decent shape um i would say do uh the central wear but depend i for me it's always the kitchen mm -hmm. for me it's always so the, the central air is really a benefit because again you benefit. can deal with the heat during the summer the winter you want heat and then the summer you can get the air conditioning mm -hmm. so you can get both of them and then electric you can get a rebate right now too yes. it's limited i don't know when people are watching this video but at some point it might face out yeah. um but they give you money back to do that right in, so which is the money you can use to do your bathroom yes Correct. and in massachusetts you have mass saves which they offer a free assessment of your property and you can get a lot of discounts with them. Mm -hmm. So our clients, when they buy, they receive a package from us with some guidelines of suggestions of things they can do. And one of them is reaching out to mass saves because the state is trying to make that the properties more energy efficient and you'd be surprised with the discounts you can get mm -hmm. through them. So there might be the money left to do almost yeah. 
everything. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm surprised that we mentioned in the kitchen and we mentioned in the soaking tub and the HPSC system as a, as a heat pump system, as an amenity that people can do to any other homes. Yes. At a tub, do this. Correct, yeah. But what about, you know, I'm surprised that we haven't mentioned the master bedroom. Like, is people talking about the master bedroom? Do they walk want... Walk-in closets. Right, like, like, they want walk-in closets, walk -in right? Walk-in closets. Yes, walk-in yeah. closets. Now, one thing though, I always complain when I see these listings, and I'm sorry, I'm probably complaining to a lot of real estate agents yeah. and real stores that say walk-in closet, and <laughs> it is a foot six deep. You know, right. sometimes they mislead with some of those things. I mean, to you, what would be a walk-in closet? Literally, you have to be able to walk it in. It has right? to be able to walk yeah. in. And the reason why walk-in closet is so big right now, it's because, again, everybody wants minimal and it's sleek. Back in the day, you had the dresses, double dresses, nightstands. Nowadays, people are looking to have their bed, two nightstands, and that's it. Because you have a walk-in closet, you exactly. know? Exactly. So you, you have know, a clean space. So one thing I've been saying a lot to almost everybody I talked to, um, ever since the times where we were in lockdowns and we couldn't do much, people started to really value what really matters in life. Mm -hmm. And they started learning that less is less but better is more. Yes. But, you know, people say less is more, but no, no, less but better is more. Mm -hmm. um, so being able to have everything tucked into a place where you know where that is yeah. and be able to understand Here's my bed and it's for sleeping. Here's my living room and it's for entertainment. Here's my kitchen and I can entertain within the kitchen, but I want peace and quiet in my master bedroom. I don't want a lot of noise. So that helped us as designers to start looking into ways of maximizing square footage with value, like every element, you know, um, even the different pieces of appliances that we put, you know, mm -hmm. the wine coolers and things like that, which uh, we call the bragging rights, you know, it's like, I have a wine I cooler, want. right? It's like, yeah, <laughs> wine cooler, look, you know what I mean? It, it shows your personality, it's like, yes. Yeah. There are buyers we walk into kitchens and they're like, oh, a wine cooler. So it's, it's, a, plus. It, it's a plus. That's it's a bragging right. A bragging yeah. right, by the way, we define it as something that not everybody really has, yeah. doesn't really cost a lot, mm -hmm. but you have to show it. It has it to be visible. Value. As soon as people walk in, they have to see it. If they don't see it, you can't brag about it, right? Well, <laughs> you know, there are people that have I things like that. on their closets that nobody's ever gonna see. see. Right. But if yeah. you have that wine cooler tucked in into a place with some nice little LEDs, it's like, oh, hmm. wow. it sets the mood. Welcome. You don't even have right. to turn the lights on. You're like, it's there, mm -hmm. you know? So it's pretty cool stuff. You didn't mention another feature, and I'm not testing you on quiz yeah, anymore. Okay. But Sorry, one that we, we can see talk a lot. About this all day. Yeah. yeah. One <laughs> thing that we see a lot is that insert fireplace. Mm -hmm. The insert fireplaces are requested left and right from the architectural side. Mm -hmm. So we even have typical details for how to do the insert fireplaces yeah. because you know, I mean, we even have it here on this property because having we've lost the taste for the chimneys. Mm -hmm. It's a the, lot of work, and so that's why the insert, it's like, I get So the, chim the chimneys yeah. take a lot of work, they're heavy, and they take a lot of square footages, right? Yes. So whenever people are thinking of renovating their home, I actually also encourage to take out the chimney. Oh, that's a lot of money, that's a lot of... It really isn't, and it really is worth. Do the math for that square footage, poor floor, and just put a price to your square footage, whatever it is, <laughs> right? You know, so if it's two by two chimney plus the cheap rock and all that, you're already losing, I don't know, two by two. You're losing square footage throughout and it's destroying views because they're typically in the middle, right? Yeah. So taking that out and replacing it, if you still want the warmth with an insert fireplace, they come in all shapes and sizes, right? So that brings a lot of value. You guys get that feedback oh, too yes. that they yeah. want yes. the fireplace, right? Yes. But people nowadays, they prefer the gas or electric one instead of the old school wood and everything. Yeah. So again, everybody's leaning towards or whatever is like easy to maintain, mm -hmm. but at the same time enjoyable. And especially in New England, the fireplace is a huge plus. Yeah, I, I actually have a pellet stove, but I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the smell of wood is also it, something that people It does people draw like. some buyers, but we are seeing the majority shift over to the gas and but, electric. Having it versus not having it, having it is always a plus. Always having a plus, that, that yeah. Area. And you can always have a fire pit outside, a nice patio with a fire pit so you can enjoy during the fall and then you can do real wood and have your modern yeah. and gas fireplace inside yeah. of the so house. So recapping, kitchens are huge, Yes. Mm -hmm. right? Put most of your money there if possible. Yes. Yes. If you can put money on the heating and cooling so that it's central, 
which is gonna also free up all our space because most of the other systems take all of these different space, all of these different pipes, radiators, Correct. baseboard heatings. We don't wanna see baseboard, we wanna see clean baseboards all We've around. We've seen a mechanical room turn into a laundry room because we were able to just get rid of all that. Yeah, you just yes. have a condenser right outside yes. and you increase the square footage of your house. Basically house. it feels a lot bigger. Yeah. So, so being able to, kitchens, HVAC system, soaking tub, which is a surprise in mm -hmm. fact, right? Everybody wants soaking tub. Walk-in closets are huge, Absolutely. right? Yeah. So with those elements, I would say, if you're looking to improve your house, you are on the right track with that. But first, connect with professionals at the very beginning. That's another thing I want to mention because uh, I mentioned to you earlier today that people don't realize the value that an architect can bring to the property because when it's well designed, done by the book with permits, you're increasing the value of your property. Don't think that spending that time on doing the work the way it should be, it's a waste of time. You're adding value because you're bringing a professional that knows what has to be done and it can be all connected with our team as well to help you understand what's gonna bring the best value for your property, what all the buyers are looking for. Because no home, some homes are forever, but most of them are not. So do the improvements for yourself, but thinking in the future increasing value, because even if you don't sell, the acre is yours, but it needs to be properly done. Exactly. So that's the best closing statement we could ever get. Get a <laughs> professional. Well, summarizing, thank you, Giselle. Thank you for being both thank with you. me Our right pleasure. here. Um, you guys saw it. We need a soaking tub for the glass of wine. Yes. We need to improve those kitchens. No more little pink tiles in the bathrooms. Uh, the HVC systems, you guys all know, is going to be changed now in Massachusetts. Heat pumps are going to be the way to go, which is going to make it all electric. If you can partner that with some solar panels, then you're going to have a lot of savings, right? Yes. So you can get... You, exactly. So thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thank you for thank having you. us. Yeah. Good. Welcome to Flow Design Architects, a company that works with you and for you. Trabalhando em Flow Design Architects. 欢迎来到Flow设计工作室. Karibu Flow Design Architects. Kampuni na yofanyakazi na wewe na kwa jili yako. Bienvenidos a Flow Design Architects, una compañía que trabaja para ti y por ti. We understand your projects and your properties are actually your biggest investment. And because of that, we take it very seriously. Flow Design was founded in 2017 as a design office that thought of creating a new kind of office, an office that care about diversity in the field of architecture, but also in how that diversity can be leveraged to benefit you as a client and also our communities. Most of our projects are created by a diverse team from all over the world. And although our office is relatively small, we create big projects and try to create big ideas. Welcome to Flow Design Architects. Welcome to Flow Design Architects, a company that works with you and for you. Thank you for watching.